Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction. And I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. Just so you guys know, as far as I know, this will be my first video where I don't feel motivated. But I'm trying all that I can. To make my creations thrive properly. Which means whether or not I'm motivated or not, I just have to do it because I'm providing for an entire multiverse and such. I just hope it's not a death wish or anything. For this particular video, I'm going to introduce three characters. A hero, a villain, and a heel. And I hope you guys would be able to bear with me throughout this video and such. Just bear with me, please. Zenda Lawman. Real name, none. Height, 5 feet 9 inches. Weight, 150 pounds. Status, human. And younger sister of Walter Lawman. Base, default, Earth, mobile. Intelligence, 3.5 brains. Behavior, innocent and willful. She will always help her older sister. Lethality. Only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses. She's a mere human. Powers. She has high durability, martial arts, and expert lawyer skills. Eyes. Bluish green. Hair. Light yellow and wavy. Origin. Zenda Lawman is the adopted younger sister of Walter Lawman, whom she always wanted to follow in life. Though she doesn't drink like her older sister, Zenda trained herself in martial arts and durability that's unlike her. One day, during a trial for a servant for Breakout who harmed a family, the tyrannical Breakout arrived to rescue him. However, the teamwork of Zenda, Walter, and Judge Gill stopped her attempt in its tracks. Since then, Zenda would always be aware whenever something unnecessary would happen. Costume. She dresses in semi-formal wear. Teams. Solitary with Walter and other heroes. Original inspiration. Lawyers. The next character I'm going to introduce is one of those characters where the, the main point of the individual hasn't been revealed yet, so I apologize for any confusion. In due time, you'll be able to learn more about him and such. Here it is. Yella. Real name, Callie Bird. Height, 8 feet 8 inches. Weight, 315 pounds. Status, villain. An enemy of chicks. Base, untrusted dimension, mobile. Intelligence, 3 brains. Behavior. Willful, moody, and destructive. She'll do anything to destroy chicks. Lethality. Only when angered or during a fight. Weaknesses. Thoughts of failure. She also has a lack of foresight. Powers. She possesses the same powers as chicks. Eyes, deep red. Hair, deep red, flowing, and spiky. Origin. In the untrusted dimension, the native chicks is rather a chaotic version of the chicken hero known simply as Yella. One day, Yella learned about her innocent counterpart, and was soon transported by Vortex to the default dimension in order to finally kill Chex. Eventually, with the help of the bovine defender Heifer, Chex was successfully able to defeat Yella in a fight. Since then, Yella would do all that she can to get her payback on the cherished Chex. Costume. She's simply covered in red and white feathers. Teams. Solitary or with other villains. Order of inspiration. Chickens. The last one of this video is very unique and very particular, and it would make sense when I describe it and such. It's very meta, as someone described. You know? Just bear with me, please. Zizzy. Real name? None. Height? 8 feet 6 inches. The vast. Weight, 337 pounds, the vast. Status, hero, in Queen of the Birds. Base, mobile. Intelligence, 
or brains. Behavior. Sneaky, relentless, and lovely. She enjoys doing her job. Lethality. Extremely lethal to most opponents. Weaknesses. She hates getting ignited into flames. Powers. She has sharp talons. Bird control. Mass alteration. Acute senses and has a pair of wings that allow flight. She could also survive unaided in the depths of space. Eyes. Olive green with vertical pupils. Hair. Grayish black with feathers. Origin. At one point, Leviathan decided on behalf of his creative universe, he would have two siblings to stand by him. Always wanting a sister, he had created Zizzy, who's a tall bird woman who serves as an older sister, along with being the queen of the birds. Her form includes the following. She's mostly covered with bright gray feathers, has a pair of matching bird wings on her back, possesses predatory bird talents for human hands and feet, a series of tail feathers used for attracting men, and can eat both living and dead animals. One time, Zizzy was chosen to save the default Earth from getting eaten by a gigasaur, a planetary mosasaur big enough to eat Jupiter in one bite, which was a successful mission. Nowadays, Zizzy would spend her time searching for the perfect boy, you know? Costume. She's mostly covered with bright gray feathers. Team Solitary with Leviathan and other heroes or inspiration. The Zizbird. Well, I... I hope you guys enjoyed those videos, and... Turns out I gained more motivation as I was reading the three things, and I just... Hope things are working out. Recently, I got the occurrence that I may or may not make a ten-page comic involving my work. But the problem is, I've never made a, free, a freestyle comic before. And I don't know if it would be worth it in terms of me doing it independently. Because from what I know, there are some mediums that are more complicated than others, and it takes more processing than one person could do. And because of that, I tend to have to be strategic. I have to make sure it's not too good to be true, that there aren't any strings attached, and that there wouldn't be any catches that would just ruin the whole thing and stuff like that. You know? I hope you guys understand. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and even share if you want. It's your choice. You know, I'm just trying to make things work. I hope you guys have a fine rest of the month, and until next time, in transmission.